Andy Buck here from MyAndyBuck.com. I don't often do product reviews, but my lovely wife got me this Black & Decker um, cordless trimmer for Father's Day, and I'm pretty excited about it, actually, because I, you see, have a real problem with trimmers. First of all, the gas ones are really noisy. I don't have that much to cut, so they never tend to want to start when I need them to start. So if I let them sit for a year, try to pull them off, and it takes me a little while to get them going again. They're smoky, they're noisy, um, and they're frankly pretty heavy, so I get tired really easy. So I've always used electric trimmers. Uh, the problem with the electric trimmer for me is that I like to cut cords. So I get going, I get to where I'm kind of tired, I'm moving along, I get a little bit lazy, look down, see a branch that's there, trim it, and guess what? I cut the cord. Now, that being said, it does make it easy because that's usually when I stop that year, but it gets a little expensive because I end up buying a lot of electric cords. So my wife got me this for Father's Day and I'm pretty excited about it. It's the Black & Decker uh, 20 volt lithium uh, cordless trimmer. I do have a um, I do have a weed eater uh, or a, an edger type weed eater type thing that's also Black and Decker 20 volt, and I also have a blower, the Black and Decker blower. I've been really really happy with those. In fact, they've become my favorite yard tool of all time. So I'm really optimistic about this one. Uh, I've already taken it out of the box. As you can see, um, it's long. It has a 22 inch blade, which is really nice for uh, for the bigger hedges. Um, when you get it out of the box. It has a, has a shield that you need to put on and a handle that you need to put on. Interesting thing about the handle is it goes right in here. And these screws, I've already backed them out, but they're already, they're, they're run in flush when you get this. So you kind of look at it and wonder, well, where the heck does that go? Well, you got to back these screws out so that you can attach it. Okay, so I've already actually run these screws out. Um, it doesn't take much to run them out, obviously, just a screwdriver. But it's just something that doesn't, it looks like it's just part of the casting of the thing. So you wouldn't really know that it goes there unless you knew that it was there. So if yours doesn't come with a handle for some reason, it should have one. Um, so you just basically put the handle on here. Now, some things you probably don't know about me. I, I have a lot of hidden secrets. Um, you know, I'm actually... Uh, and witness protection and part of the reason is because I was a member of the Swiss Army. Um, they gave me this knife when I left and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's, it's really come in handy in a lot of instances. Um, putting in screws is one of them. I'm going to go on the record as saying this might have been easier with a screwdriver. But it's not a big deal. Actually, for that one, I probably do need a screwdriver. Let's see. Yeah, I do need a screwdriver for that one. All right. Give me just a moment. I'll be right back. Now I've got the right tool for the job. So as you can see, it's not really a difficult task here to put this handle on. Um, I've got the battery charging already on the charger. And then you just snap this on. Actually, no. See, there's screws in here too. So you have to take these screws out also to attach this. Once again, you see how it looks like it's just part of the casting here. So it'd be really easy to think, well, how do you attach that? But you just have to back the screws out and attach it and put them back on. Makes sense from a packaging standpoint, I suppose. You don't have to have extra plastic. Help save the environment to not have the screws in a little plastic bag. And it's a lot harder to put the wrong screws in, so makes sense. So 
we're just going to snap this thing on here, like so. And then we're going to put these back in here. So I, I am curious, how many of you guys have cut the cord? How many of you guys have actually cut the cord while you were trimming hedges? I'd like to think I'm not the only one, but maybe I am. Comment below, let me know. All right, so some assembly required, but other than that, pretty easy to get out of the box. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this, uh, I don't know how it works yet, but it has this button here on the top, which is really cool, um, that if you're trimming uh, and you happen to get into a jam where you cut something that's a little bit too thick and it stops the blades, this is called a power cut. And it says here that it'll do up to a three-quarter inch, which is a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size branch. You're talking about a branch probably about that big. Um, so if you're just trimming, you hit the wrong thing and it jams up, you just push the button and it supposedly powers through. I'll have to let you know how it works. But I'm going to go ahead and put the battery on now that I've got charged over here. It's not fully charged, so I'm just going to run it a couple of times, let it charge fully, and then maybe this afternoon we'll show you how it works. So let's see here. Ooh. Looks pretty cool. Guaranteed not to cut the cord. See you in a little bit. Hey everybody. Battery's fully charged. No cords to cut. Pretty excited. Look, look, no cords. Just me. Just me. So we're gonna give this thing a, a run and see how it works. The black and decker 20 volt lithium ion hedge trimmer. See what it does. Oh, my leg! Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Looks like it did a pretty good job. Now nothing left to do but the cleanup. Where's my son? Josh! Josh! Bye everybody. <laughs>